welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about differences and products so we've got to add the difference between 7200 and 3950 to the product of 278 and 9 now obviously what we need to do is understand what these words mean now clearly add is going to be some sort of adding difference between two numbers is when you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and the product of two numbers is when you multiply some numbers together so it's all about understanding those words and recognizing what they mean when you see them so add is obviously add difference is subtract and product means multiply so job number one is we need to we can't add anything together we've actually got to do this adding bit last so do the adding bit last because we've got to find the difference between 7200 and 3950 and the product of 278 and 9 first so job number one let's do the difference so difference between 7200 3950 that's a subtract like we've just said so let's work that out zero tick Take away zero is zero. Zero take away five we can't do, so borrow from the two, which becomes a one. And then one we've borrowed makes that zero into ten. Ten take away five is five. One take away nine we can't do, so borrow from the seven. The seven becomes a six, and the one we borrow turns this one here into eleven. Eleven take away nine is two. Six take away three is three. So three thousand two hundred and fifty is our difference. Now, before we can do the adding bit, we need to find the product. So the product of 278 and 9 means do 278 times 9. Let's work that out. 8 lots of 9 is 72. Put the 2 in, carry the 7. 9 lots of 7 is 63. Plus the 7 is 70. Put the 0 in, carry the 7. And 9 twos are 18. Plus the 7 is 25. Put the 5 in, carry the 2. But because we've run out of columns and there's nothing else at times, that 2 can go straight in. 2,502. But obviously, we need to remember what the question originally said. We found our difference. That was 3,250. We found our product. That is 2,502. And sometimes it does help to go back to the question and write any numbers that you've worked out where it is asking you on the question so it's obvious what you've got to do but what we haven't done is add them together yet so that's what we need to do so in the final bit of the question is 3250 add 2502 let's see what that brings us 0 plus 2 is 2 5 plus 0 is 5 2 plus 5 is 7 3 plus 2 is 5 final answer 5752